Good morning, uh, Andrew Frangello. Today I'm winnowing. I thought you guys would want to see this thing in operation. So to start, I have my roasted beans, about five pounds. I keep a vacuum cleaner handy so I can clean up. And I went through my system and just make sure all my buckets are nice and clean. And I even cleaned out my shop vac so you guys can see how much debris actually makes it into the shop back after I get my winnowing. Okay, now that I have all my materials ready, my first step is always to protect my ears. My winnowing device is not that noisy, but I make a lot of chocolate, so I like to protect my ears. I use the squishy earplugs, and then I also double up with the ear protectors. Okay, so step one, that's the hopper holding the roasted beans. That are beans. So now the hopper is filled with my beans. I'm going to first turn on the shop vac to get the airflow going through the system. Then I'm going to plug in the drill and the beans are going to be crushed and the winnowing device is going to separate the husk from the nibs. Uh, it's going to be quite loud, but uh, I'll try to stop the video here and there uh, after I give you guys a demonstration of what's actually happening to explain the process a little bit more, maybe. And before I start, I just want to tell you guys that the way that I like to operate my process, I like to start with a very light airflow, and then I'll increase the airflow uh, just to the point where all the husk is removed from the nib. But in the beginning, I like to start very conservatively and allow some husk to throw through the pipe. So you'll see on my gauge here, I have this thing set, the valve set to pretty much the fully open position. And that's going to be on the side of being a weaker airflow. So, um, most of the nib is going to fall through this bucket, but I'm going to get some husk. And then I just increase that airflow until all the husk is removed. And then at that point, you're going to have mostly nib on the left and husk on the right.
Okay, from experience, I can tell you guys this is a very good winnow. Uh, you might see a couple pieces of nib in here, or sorry, husk, like right there. But for the most part, this bull is mostly all nib. The small amount of husk in there is acceptable. Now, I could have increased the airflow on this winnowing and removed even more of the trace amount of husk in this nib bucket. However, if I increased that airflow, I would have gotten a much more significant portion of the nib in the husk bucket. So let's go look at the husk bucket. Now if you look at the material in my husk bucket, you guys will see that this is all, pretty much all husk. If you did a really close inspection, you might be able to find some evidence of nib, but for the most part, we almost had perfect separation. Now regarding the re-winnowing, remember that Tiffany Green section I told you guys about? Well, in the past, I will tell you what I used to do. I used to take the husk bucket and run it back through there at a very, well, not, I would not a very, but a much higher airflow. So what would happen was, with the higher airflow, it would grab all the husks as it did originally, but it would give the nibs a second chance to kind of fall back into that nib bucket. And conversely, on the nib bucket, I would put that through the system again at a lower airflow so that the husks would have a second chance to get sucked through. Now, in addition, I would actually take all the material before doing that entire process and section it off by density by using these mining screens. But I want to tell you guys, that was probably about 90% of the time and effort in my winnowing process and it would only yield about two or three additional percent of nib. So the cost is not worth the benefit. Lately I've just been letting my beans pass through my winter at once. The separation is good again, uh, good enough. And all I'll do is do a manual inspection of the nibs just to make sure there's no large chunks of husk in there. So I almost forgot. I want to show you guys the benefit of using the Dust Deputy Cyclonic Separator. I want to show you how much debris actually made it into my shop vac. And if you look closely, there's almost nothing in my shop vac. I maybe picked up that one little hunk on the bottom. And if you look at the filter, the filter is nice and clean. If we did not have the Dust Deputy, this thing would have caught uh, a lot of debris. So thank you, uh, thank you guys. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun making chocolate. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Take care.